Autism Awareness and Acceptance Month year 2022. It's here upon us again. I just can't believe it. Um, in April, we wear puzzle. This is a one of a kind shirt that uh, a fan of my channel sent me about five years ago. If you don't know who I am, my name is Chad. I am I run Kimok Seven, which is an autism awareness and acceptance social media channel on YouTube as well as Facebook. In 2018, I made a video of my son who has autism. His name is Chase, and that video went viral around the world. And why did it go viral around the world? And that's kind of what I'm going to talk about today as the start of Autism Awareness and Acceptance Month for year 2022. Can't believe it's upon us. I get excited this time of year. I'm always out spreading awareness and acceptance for autism worldwide year round. But in April, I try to, you know, double down and put it in supercharger mode. Um, we're going to talk about that. We're going to talk about some of my story and the story of my son, me as a parent for autism and my son Chase living with autism. And one of the most important parts of autism awareness and acceptance, especially for autism awareness and education that I talk about often is eloping and autism safety and my friends at Angel Sense GPS tracking. So we're going to talk about Angel Sense as well. But before we get to that, when I started putting videos of my son on social media and Facebook and YouTube, I started getting comments from people with autism as well as parents to so those with autism from around the world, Ireland, Japan, Europe, Great Britain, Australia, Canada, Mexico, the list goes on and on. People from all over the world. The theme that they would say to me is, thank you for presenting the brighter side of autism. Thank you for showing us parents that our son or daughter could have a functional future, could have a bright future, could have a happy future. Um, we as parents, the number one thing we wish for for our children is happiness and peace and acceptance in this world, especially if they have disability or special needs. The alternative is a miserable life where you never find a place in this world, whether it be employment or personal life or school or whatever. And for many of those living with all kinds of disabilities, especially autism, they really, really struggle with that. So the, the social media outreach that I've put out on the internet over the years has really made a difference and it continues to make a difference. Even recently, I had a, an email from a, a mother whose child is not even one years old and she is looking for answers. She's scared. She's stressed out. She's having sleepless nights. Why? Because she's seeing some, seeing some early signs of autism in her infant and is looking for answers and her husband isn't being too helpful. And I'm able to have that opportunity to, to spread that education and acceptance and awareness. Um, my son is a happy person. In the early days, he had a lot of challenges. He was nonverbal till age eight. I'm a true believer in early intervention services and early diagnosis in order to provide those services to help your child form some functional language, hopefully, so it can, it can arm them as they enter adolescence and high school and especially adulthood. One of my major themes of education awareness as a parent is the best thing, the number, most important thing that you could be doing if your child is two or eight or 10 or a teenager or 22 like mine, is to prepare them for adulthood. I'm not always going to be around. If the person with autism can enter adulthood with some sort of functional language and sense of uh, self-esteem and confidence, they could do any number of things. The opportunities are endless. I think it's a great thing too that I see more positive representations in media. I think of The Good Doctor. I think of Atypical. I think of a new show on the Lifetime channel called Leave It to G's, which features a 19-year-old boy with autism who is nonverbal. And many of his mannerisms remind me of my son Chase. 
I think my son has a very, very bright future, but it didn't come by accident. It came through a ton of hard work, a ton of ABA therapy, a ton of speech therapy, occupational therapy. And I preach this, I advocate for it. Without early intervention services, your child may really, 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 really struggle. Um, so for Autism Awareness and Acceptance Month, if you're a parent or if you're someone watching this video, you know, do your part to answer questions when they come up. Do your part to help educate people. As I meet people throughout my lifetime, strangers and current people I know, I, I take the time to answer questions about my son and about my life and about videos that I put on YouTube. And it makes a real difference. And for the month of April here with Autism Awareness Acceptance Month, that really is that opportunity to do some social media posts, share something. Um, if you know somebody with autism, you know, try to teach somebody about that person that you know, whether it's a nephew or a cousin or an aunt or your own child. Autism affects one in 44 right now in the United States of America. The prevalence is unprecedented. The services are much needed. The way to get a diagnosis can some be sometimes be a year to two years, especially during the pandemic. There are a lot of parents out there struggling, and we can all help each other as a community. What I mentioned a few minutes ago about autism safety and my advocacy for it is so extremely important. That's why I'm going to start talking about Angel Sense here, because... What I've learned over the years, and I was thinking about a lot of this week, I follow nonstop breaking news of autism. Every single day, you can just pull up Google and search autism news or autism breaking news. Not a day goes by, on average, I don't see a story about a child escaping from school, a child disappearing from their home, a child eloping from a school bus, a child getting on the wrong school bus, a child kidnapped, a child being offended by a bus driver unbeknownst to anyone, a child being bullied at school or on the school bus, and worst of all, a child drowning in water. Children with autism, especially ages three, four, five, six, seven, have an affinity towards water. If you live around water and you are a parent to autism, beware. I suggest you may want to relocate so you're not around water. Water could be a retention pond, a small pond, a lake, a river, a neighbor's pool. It takes 60 seconds for your child to drown and may never recover. If you don't, if you're not aware of how Elopement affects autism. You really need to research this. Eloping is just a fancy word for your child running out of the home. When my son was four years old, he escaped from the home twice. Once he ran into a neighbor's house who had loaded guns all over the house, and the neighbor pulled a gun on my son. The second time he did it, my son disappeared for a half hour, and he was found throwing rocks in a pond. If he would have fallen into that pond, he would have drowned and died. These are very, it's a very, very serious topic when it comes to autism and safety. It needs to be a top priority every single day, especially during those younger years. Most children that elope from the home are age four. And I'm saying that from my experience from reading articles for years and years and years. And more often times than not, it's a four year old boy. Four year old boy. It was the same for my son four-year-old boy eloping, disappearing from the house. If you don't have some sort of GPS tracking device on your son or daughter, you're really risking a lot and you're not going to have that peace of mind. The great thing about Angel Sense, you pay a monthly fee. You can see how small and convenient this is. It go on the pocket. It can go right, you know, clip to a backpack, clip to the jeans. Um, it comes with a, a special sleeve that clips onto your, your son or daughter's clothing. They can't get it off. And they're wearing it all day long at school or at the playground or on the bus or wherever. And then you're able to track them through a convenient app. So here's the app. I'm going to pull it up on my phone here. Angel Sense, keeping your loved ones safe. 
and you can see right there, I think you could see it there, that it is immediately showing my location because the app is right here. Obviously, it's not on my son right now. And I'm able to track him on here. I'm also able to click a little button here and I can phone this device and I can listen in on any of environment that is around my son. If he's talking to someone or he's crying or if someone's screaming at him or bullying him, um, I'm able to listen in on the device. The person on the other end can also talk to the device as well if you do a two-way call. There's an SOS on here for hitting alarms. But it's an amazing technology, very affordable, as low as $33 a month for this right now if you take advantage of certain sales and you pay up front for a full year. So that peace of mind for that safety, for that small fee, you'll always know where your child is at. And for me, when my son disappeared, I didn't know where he was for a full half hour. And we called the police. Um, we had DCFS come to our house because a you know, neighbor reported us as bad parents, you know, not understanding autism. And my son very well could have drowned. And it's a terrifying thing. And I will always talk about it, especially during Autism Awareness and Acceptance Month. Angel Sense GPS Tracker, the best in the business. It's got a lot of features that the other companies don't have, especially being able to call the device and listen on the device. And it has different modes on it. The app has all kinds of custom features that you can customize for yourself. And it shows a history of your, your child's uh, location. You know, if you pull, you can pull up a full week and show exactly where your child was that week. If, for instance, if there was a break in that pattern, you're going to know it. And I love that feature. So I, I know that. Um, as we all know, for, for autism, familiarity and parent and, and patterns is, is so important. You want to learn more about this, simply go to angelsense.com. You can read all the other parental re reviews and watch different tutorial videos, look at some of the pricing. Their customer service is phenomenal. There's a live chat right on their website. Can't say enough about it. In summary here of Autism Awareness and Acceptance Month, I am uh, vlogging a ton. If you're not familiar with the channel, please subscribe. Please like this video and please share this video. Um, more oftentimes than not, what I'm telling others is that autism is not a lack of intelligence. Autism is a lack of output. Autism is a lack of verbal output, the ability to verbally communicate what the person comprehends, what the person understands, and what the person is thinking and feeling. My son thinks and feels and understands so much more than he will ever get credit for. And it's the same for almost everyone with autism. And as times go on and the education and the awareness spreads, I believe that a lot of stereotypes and misconceptions will continue to dissipate. That with each day, with each year, with each April Awareness and Education Acceptance Month, people think differently about autism. I truly feel that. Um, I've been talking about it for almost 22 years now, and wow, have things come completely different, completely different. I hear a lot of positivity. And... Most recently, I've heard a lot of talk on the internet of renaming Autism Awareness Month to Autism Acceptance Month. And I'll talk about that real briefly here because acceptance is as important as awareness because so many people with autism don't feel accepted. So many people with autism feel as if their parents or organizations or schools are trying to change them or cure them. And... Of course, that would be wrong. You know, the person with autism needs to be accepted for who they are. And if you're a parent, especially, it's the number one thing you need to uh, do early on. Is the sooner the better is completely 100% accept your child for who they are, their talents, their limitations, and love them with all the love you can possibly give them <laughs> every single day. There's going to be rough days. There's going to be days of celebration. There's going to be frustrating years and months where potentially your child does not speak and can be nonverbal for a very, very long 
perhaps forever. And those years require a boatload of patience. A boatload of patience. Patience, love, understanding, acceptance. It's so important. This is for Kimak7. I'm going to conclude here. Thank you for watching the video. Go out there and do your part. And in April, wear the puzzle piece. Have a great day.